Hello, Tex Andrews with the Light Zone Project, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about the Gaussian Blur tool. So it is the downward pointing orangish triangle next to the sharpening tool. You click it and we deploy it, and like the Relight tool, it comes out with a setting set that already you see a blurred effect here. The setting is 5. Note also that we only have one slider. It's a very simple tool. You go this way to the left and you eliminate the effect altogether. Go this way to the right and you progressively increase it until you feel like there is something decidedly wrong with your eyes. I'm going to bring it back out to the five. Now, Let's say you only want some of the image blurred. Well, obviously, one way to do this is to use regions. I am going to pick a regions tool. And so let's say I'm sort of trying to select the background to blur out a little bit. And I'll just do this very quickly. I'll feather that a bit. Now let's go fit. I'll hide the region. We're looking at this area here. And you see I can blur that out quite a bit. And that's not a bad effect at all. It's helping bring all of this foreground up. However, keen-eyed people will realize this is not the same as a wide open fast lens effect focusing on the foreground. You're going to have to come in here and do some more surgery with this thing with uh, some more regions to get a more natural looking effect. And if you want to spend time doing that, you can do that, obviously. I'll feather that a little bit, hide the regions, so you can see. But in an image like this, where you've got a lot of interstitial areas that um, you know are, are now going to be in sharp focus and then other places, it's going to look a little weird. So there's another way we can go about this. I'm going to hide the regions. Actually, I'm going to click on my region and delete this one. And I'll double click and delete this one. Now the whole image is blurred. I am going to pull my radius back a little bit. And now, once again, we're going to hit our color selection tab. Now I've got two choices here. Let's say I want to blur the background. Well, a lot of the background is this yellowish color. Let's try that really quickly. I'll click that and I'll start blurring it. Well, it's working, but it's also taking some of the green leaves with it. It's also giving us a little bit of a weird effect. I roll that back a little bit. And the problem is, of course, it's not blurring this trunk at all. Well, we got another way of doing this. So, once again, I'm going to slide this back. I'm going to hit my, I've got my uh, eyedropper tool. Now, I'm going to select the green of the leaves. It's because I want the foreground to pop out, let's say the green of the leaves. And now, remember this, I can invert the tool. Invert this. Now I start blurring everything. And look at there. Now you can see that the green leaves are staying sharper and I'm beginning to blur other parts of the image out. I can select you know, other greens and invert again. I can try another green, invert that. And also I can obviously increase my range 
And pretty soon I'm getting a pretty decent effect without having to go to the trouble of very complicated regions to mask out portions of the image where I want the Gaussian blur to occur. So again, it's a very simple tool and you can use regions to control its effects in the image but remember you can also use your color selection tool tab in the Gaussian blur tool with the eyedropper or with any of these radio buttons use your range tool you can adjust the luminosity range etc and you can play around this and pretty soon you get I think you can see a decent effect very easily with the Gaussian Blur tool.